In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Saber Red 360 SDK, how to set up development environment for Red Apps, and how to inject Red App into running Saber Red 360 web client. From a technical point of view, Saber Red Apps are an OLGI plugins, and there are two kinds of them. Classic Red Apps that are written in Java and extend capabilities of Saber Red 360 desktop client, and Web Red Apps that are written in TypeScript and extend Saber Red 360 web client. Java Red Apps are limited to desktop, however, Web Red Apps can extend Saber Red 360 in both desktop and web access methods. We highly recommend that all the new Red Apps are created with Web SDK. The easiest way to set up Saber Red SDK after downloading the SDK package is to go to Web Modules, Tools, and use Concierge Installer. This tool will install both Node.js uh, offline bundle, which is pretty much our Web SDK, and Concierge. You can think about it like uh, npm or Maven for Red Apps. The installer itself, it's pretty basic, just, you just go through a few steps. After the installation is complete, uh, now you can use ngv command line command, uh, which runs the concierge. And now you can use ngv init command to set up your first Red App. Bundle symbolic name, pretty much the package of the Red App, so we use reverse domain notation here. So let's say com saber example Red App. Project author, then we enter email, phone, company name, contact person, bundle name, website is not necessary, Red App ID. At this stage, most probably you will not have Red App ID. This is unique 22 characters and that identifies your Red App. That you can fill it in later on. Red App ID is provisioned by Saber when Red App IDEA is approved. Now we can just skip it. So now we can go to our Red App directory, and here we have some basic uh, skeleton created for us. The most important thing in here is package.json. Here you define the build dependencies. So any additional APIs uh, that you will use during creation of your Red App have to be included in this file. The second thing is the actual code itself. In sources slash code, here we have main ts file. It contains only single int method and runs when Red App loads. Now, before we add some functionality to our Red App, let's build it because we have this basic skeleton. So now we use ngv build command. This may take some time at first because uh, we need to download all the necessary npm dependencies and also our Saber Red SDK web APIs. So in node modules we can see have, we have some basic libraries with and also Saber NGV app and Saber NGV core. App and core are the basic necessary web SDKs that every web red app has to be dependent on. Now that we create and build a skeleton of Red App using Basic Console, let's work on integrating Web SDK in, into our own IDE of choice to improve development experience. I will use Visual Studio Code as an example. So, to open up our Red App in here, we go to File, Open Folder, then we look up our Web Module and go choose Folder 
and now we can edit our main TS. Also, you can notice context TS and index TS. Those both files were created by ngv command and you should not modify them. At the moment, we are interested only in main TS. Ok, time to write some basic code. Let's start with classic, so hello world. We can put it into init function and uh, code in init, it's initialized during loading of the module. So when we put console log in here, hello from my first red up. So now we want to run this code. Since web red apps and classic ones as well are intended to work as a part of Saber Red 360, either web or desktop client, we need to inject our module, module code into SRW website to check how it works. To do this, we start with again ngv command, this time ngv run. This will compile our code, uh, enable the uh, watcher on our uh, source code, so whenever we change something the code will automatically uh, rebuild, and expose uh, our source file. So after running this command, after a while we'll have the address of our local HTTP server that expose our red app code. Now we log in into Saber Red Web Client into the certification environment. Login. So srw.cert.saber.com and now we can click on the puzzle icon on the right side add our URL, so HTTP localhost 8080, click on the plus sign and apply. The page will reload and now we can see that the puzzle uh, icon is green. That means that our module loaded. Uh, of course we didn't do anything graphical, so we can go to inspect and in console just filter out hello. And in here we can see that our first line of code in our web red app was uh, successfully executed. It did not do much, but it works. So now let's create something a little bit complicated that uh, console log and something that is actually visible for the red app user. So let's start with getting the extension point service. SDK consists of many, many services, each and every one connected with different area of the uh, Saber Red workspace. What we want to do is to register a new button in the uh, right side panel that after we click this button, new model window will show up with, let's say, hello world message. We will, we will not go any deeper in this tutorial. Now we are focusing only on setting up and writing our first red app. The first thing we need to create a new button in the side panel is the extension point service. So first of all we import Saber ngv xp and after we added the dependency we need to ngv run ngv build so new dependency will be installed in our node modules folder and now we can import extension point service from Saber ngv xp services extension point service and in get service method we send extension point service as a parameter then we need to create configuration for our side panel and at the moment only thing we can put in the side panel is a button so we create new red up side panel button, but we first need to import necessary things, so import red app side panel config from cyber ngvxp configs 
red upside panel config and the actual button itself red upside panel button button is included in saber ngv red upside panel module uh, this module is dependent of xp so whenever we mark xp as dependency we also install red upside panel side, side panel hotkeys ui components so we go to modules and red upside panel button so now we can move on to creating the actual button what we need is a label so show hello model then we need uh, CSS classes we don't need any additional one at the moment last parameter is the actual function that will be executed when the user clicks the button show hello model function show hello model without any parameters it will return void first of all we have to set up some options for our new model title and any actions the buttons that can be used so each and every model can have multiple actions our will have only one class name we have to declare that it will be a button then a caption so label for a button it will be just quit action name we use default cancel to just close the model and type it will be secondary now models are based on backbone so we need a view at least and a model to keep state of our model since we will not have any state in this case we need only we, will, we only need a view so we create new class basic view ts basic view it needs to extend abstract view and abstract model as of our non-existing uh, model so we need to import bo both of those import abstract view from saber ngv up up abstract view and same for abstract model from saber ngv up up abstract model since we don't want our model to do pretty much anything the last thing we need to do in here is to uh, select template that will be used for this mod model template is HTML template using handlebar first of all we need to import template annotation saber mgv core this time decorators view template and template needs one parameter the name of the HTML template would prefix it with name of the sample so in this case it will become saber example red up web module and then we need to uh, include the name of the HTML file that will be created in templates folder basic view and now in templates we create new file called basic view HTML and in here we just can create div with h2 hello from red up so now we so now with the template and view uh, in place Oh yeah, the um, parameter needs to be a string, not 
something like this. Okay. Now we can go back to main TS. And now we can first of all get service liar service this time. So we'll and of course we need to import it, import liar service from Saber NGV core liar service. Then we call show modal. And it's a premium parameter we, need, we send the view, so new basic view. Of course, this basic view needs to be exported. And now we can import it. And in basic view, we need to send some parameters again. Let's copy the localhost address. Put it again into the puzzle. We can see that our module loaded. But as we can see nothing happened nothing happened. Simply because we forgot to add the site panel config to the actual application configuration. So XP at config red up site panel and we need site panel config watch mode discovered that we changed some configuration so it's re rebuilding our project okay now it's done so we need to refresh the saber red web our module loaded and now we can see show hello model up top and when we click it we can see the hello from red up message and the model itself that will be all for this tutorial thank you for watching you can find many red up samples and documentation in, in the sdk package and also visit saber dev studio to learn how you can become red up certified provider